guys, welcome back to the Boogeyman. Hopefully this time I will... That was interesting. Hopefully this time I'll be able to get through the episode without having to go and edit out 40 minutes. Well, that's why I saved. Well, it was worth a try. Crap, you have a point. So for the next little bit, I'm just going to walk around and Use this sledgehammer on everything I can find. Hey, Mr. Keith, where's Helena? Haven't found her yet. I see. Keith, I don't mean to cast out, but did Brendan and Stevie really? Uh, well, I saw Brendan get killed, and his body was dropped into the basement. Stevie was alive by the time I got there, but it was too late. If Brendan. I mean, if he is still alive. Sorry, but I've never met a guy who survived a beheading. Not even one? And now we march all the way back. Hmm. Did I finish that rant about Trotodoxin? Yeah. 
Toxin found aside puffer fish. I don't remember if I finished it from all the way back in Mokeko's castle or not. mean to save in that slot. Let's look at this. Okay, one more. David, get up. <laughs> no, are you okay? Just get up, you idiot. Shirley? Keith, Shirley, where's Shirley? Settle down and answer me first. What are you doing here? What happened? Uh, I think... Shirley? Shirley, wh what happened? Hang in there. Hit him again, just to be sure. I don't remember anything after that. <laughs> All right. Brendan and Stevie are, are both... You're kidding, right? Come on, David, you're a veteran. I don't make jokes in such poor taste. Lance and the Grundlers are hiding out in the safe room. I thought you'd have been kidnapped too, but I guess not. So surely he was gone because... He must have taken her. I'm trying to bait you all, Ben. Wonder what he's plotting. We have to hurry. I'll take you to the others. Stay put with them. I have to go find her. She's my wife. I have to. Listen to me. You'll only get in the way. I'm going, no matter what. <laughs> Did you dodge that? Why couldn't you? Oh, snap. You could have told me duck or something. Your fault for coming along. This is exactly why I told you to stay put. That. Wait, why didn't they duck for that? Mm. Oh, excuse me.
I do like this protagonist. And his simple method of smash everything. Looks like I've been cornered by Mr. Detective. Back to the wall. Nowhere to run. It's like the end of a chase scene. Straight from a movie. Now let's see. You'd be Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. So I'm John Doe? Hmm? Here we Hey, are you the guy that kidnapped Shirley? Where is she? Ah, so nice to see you, David. Can't help worrying about your wife, I see. Worry not, you'll meet her very soon. Sooner than you think. So then, here I have a box. Surprise, a gift from me to you. I'd like David to open it, if possible. I'm sure he'll be stunned. Don't open it. Well, anyway, you two, take... Wait. Don't. If you open that, just don't open it. Please. Stop. Thought so. God damn it. Who does that asshole think he is? Calm down. Don't let him rile you up. I haven't found her yet. Crap. What? But, uh, I was sure that... I mean, you seemed so... Seemed to what? We have to find them. Quick! Shirley and Helena both! I'm guessing he just asked about Helena. Oh, well, I've got you here, David. Yeah, yeah, we'll rescue your wife sooner or later. Sorry to do that. Get that then. I was hoping you could help me through that big hole.
There we go. Surely. Hold it. Hey there. It's the dynamic duo again. You. Stay back. He's armed. Ooh, I'm shaking. David, oh, are you mad, I wonder? Sorry to tease you back there. But I know how it feels when you don't know if a loved one is safe. It's truly distressing. Now, now, don't look behind you. But David, oh, David, you're demanding something you can never have. You know everyone will always leave you, so why do you struggle so? What are you saying? Get away from Shirley, now! Very well, I will open your eyes. Men are always led astray by women. This is what the evil ones deserve. Get back! Shirley! Hey. David, can you untie the ropes? Good. David, use this. Shirley, hey, wake up. Shirley. Well done, David. I knew you. Good. <laughs> but boy, I just don't get you. <laughs> you ought to just dump her, the same way her parents dumped her. She never needed you for anything anyway. Huh. Once a loner, always a loner, David. Two loners getting together to feel secure. Pretty hollow, don't you think? Here I thought you'd know the sorrow of needing someone to lean on and the bother of being needed. But you and her, it just doesn't work. You're abandoning her. What do they say again? That's right. Like father, like son. Shut up! Oh well, if you won't take my advice, then let death. I'll make it a dramatic one for you. Might as well. I'll be taking my leave then. Wouldn't want to disturb you two having a hot moment. Okay.
Hmm. Well, I guess that's it for this part then. See you all in the next one.